Hi, welcome again. This is Rich Co Photo. Um, what I'm going to do today is drive out of Southampton uh, so you get to do a different view. Um, straight in front of us there is the Isle of Wight ferries. Um, they go into Cowles and I think there's a non-passenger vehicle that goes to a different place on the Isle of Wight. But that's where it is. You can see some of the Southampton walls to our left. Um, just up here on the left as well they found lots of uh, bodies in the ground here to the left. I think they might still be excavating that and, and getting out the rest of the bones from years ago. And this area is really built up now, it never used to be like this at all. This is all new on the left and old on the right. This is where most of the flower markets used to be. I think that's all stopped now. And again, we've got some of the oldest Southampton buildings in front of us. It's one of the churches there. And um, it's just the spire left of that now. So to our right here is where the flower markets are. They're all open about four o'clock in the morning. And people from obviously the flower shops around Southampton and restaurants and hotels come here to buy all their flowers. It's quite busy here in the mornings. So I'm sort of on the south side of Southampton, nearer to the coast is to our right. And this has been developed. Again, a lot of these houses on the right used to be uh, just like four story houses and things, but they've all been turned into flats. Again, this is a new building to our right, all flats. And uh, some of the council flats to our left there. This used to be a car sales on the right years ago. And there's some of the student digs now for Southampton Southern University. Quite a few students in Southampton with having two universities, so there's quite a lot of accommodation for them. And the buildings on our right as we go around here is all to do with um, the cruise ships. Trying to think of the main people. Carnival have offices there. I think from the top floor you can see right into the docks from there. Now I did want to turn left there and go back over the Hitchin Bridge, but it's all closed off. They're doing again. They're doing some development around there. Um, so what happens is I go back around to give you a full loop of that central car park and build, it's like an island to our right, all that bit, and then you'll notice when I come back up here, we turn right to where we've been. So I'll cut this next bit out and speed it up. This is an area to, called St. Mary's to our left of Southampton again, more student digs around, huge amount of developments going on in this area. And some of the older buildings to our right here. That's uh, where all the grain ships come in with all the gravel and bricks and cement and everything. And this is Southampton Football Club, I left. That was built a few years ago. They moved from the centre of Southampton near to Shirley down to here. Um, don't know exactly how long that's been built. They've been there for quite a while now, pretty well adopted as their home. But Dell used to be their main home but now they've changed it to St Mary's. The gas containers to our left, again because it's winter they're all compressed. Now as we come up to these traffic lights, this lorry you will see throughout this travel home, it's not the best driver in the world but you will see that there's you know, he's in a bit of a rush to get where he needs to go. And I'm, I'll point him out again a bit later and you'll see some of the things that he does. He was obviously in a rush to get back home. So we're running about, back out of Southampton now, in that little area called um, the Northern. There used to be a huge television studios to our left 
um, but that was knocked down a few years ago and they've moved up probably about a mile away from where I live actually with new um, studios and everything so that's a big open planned area nothing's been built there yet which surprises me now we're running over Northern Bridge back over the River Kitchen and this would run down and it comes out near to the docks more industrial units as well I think there's like a fitness gym in there there's tile companies and being a kid growing up and driving in and out of Southampton is just a huge amount of change and I think doing these videos um, will give a little bit of history and hopefully in the next 20 years or so you know, it'll be something to look back on and say oh yeah I remember that used to be that I've missed doing that and camcorders weren't always that easy to mount on your car as the GoPro is. So the transit band decides to do a little cut through and get past. Everyone's in a rush to get past this bit because it goes to one lane. So lorry nearly hits the car come the other way. Those flats there to the left actually had a lorry crash into them about two floors up. And, uh, that was a few years ago now, they were to be moved out and rehoused for a while. I'm going to speed it up as I'm going up through Bitten or towards Bitten now. This is called Maple King Way. And there's a speed camera, there it is. And loads of people get caught on that. Again, we've got Bitten Police Station to our right. Now I'll catch this bus up there. This is where the lorry appears again. Okay, so myself and the bus are waiting to go straight on. If you get in the right hand lane, you have to turn right apparently. But what happens is the lorry doesn't turn right, it nearly hits the car coming the other way, and squeezes the bus out. Here he is. The lights change. Lorry has to swerve in to miss that car and carries on his way. So we're going to chase this double decker bus now down through the valley. This valley actually runs all the way through um, from this point down through Shoaling um, down towards Wollstone and then down towards Western Shore which is the beach area. So I've managed to catch this lorry up again. He's in a rush because you need to turn right if you're going the right hand lane. Right? So he has to think about what he's going to do. He's following the car really closely because this is speeded up so a little bit. I'm going to come down and I think you've probably seen this on the previous videos. There's a KFC. There's a Greg's actually here now and Costa and a huge range, just like a wholesale store. So the lorry decides he's going to overtake everyone going uphill now. So as you can see, he's making a run for it. What I will do is I'll catch up with him again in part two. So this is the end of part one. Um, so we'll catch up with that lorry shortly and show you what's happening with him. But feel free to subscribe, give me the thumbs up, and have a great day.